economics mm -hmm. is firmly grounded in ethics and morality. It's true that there are many economic ways we can describe the economy or look at the ways market function or, or markets function that are purely descriptive, that don't necessarily right. have a moral quality to them. But the goal is to try to figure out how we can uh, really, I would say, aid the family, human well-being. I mean, economia comes from household budget. How, how do we actually help your average person? And you really want to understand the way that these structures operate in order to come to a conclusion there. I think the problem with a lot of economic thinkers is they try to start with their conclusion and force the laws of economics to adhere to what would be convenient to establishing uh, or completing their goals rather than trying to figure out how to solve the puzzle of getting these objective facts about reality uh, and scarcity to still allow us to provide for people at the highest possible level. Yes, and I think what you are pointing to in many respects is a twofold problem. One is that many people doing economics go into it with sort of preconceived goals of what they want to achieve. I want more greater equity in distribution, for example, or something like that. Uh, but economics, qua economics, is not about that. It's about looking at particular realities about the human condition, like, as you mentioned, scarcity, uh, things like human nature, things like the fact that to a certain extent all of us operate out of self-interest. We look at questions like prices, what, does pr what do prices tell us about what's going on in economic life, and that's all important. And then the next step, and, that, and once you've got all that lined up, once you've explored those things properly, then you're in a position to say, okay, well, what use do we put this information if we're trying to see emerge a society in which things like virtue are taken very seriously. I mean, I, I always like to say that um, I think it was Wilhelm Robke, who's one of my favorite economists, who used to say that economically ignorant ethics is moralism and ethically, econo ethically ignorant economics is just pure utilitarianism or something mm. like that. So you really do need both. And I've been in situations where I'm, I just spend a lot of time writing and thinking about things like natural law theory. And when I'm with philosophers, I'm often shaking my head because I'm thinking, okay, clearly you could do with a basic course on Econ 101. But when I'm with economists, a lot of economists, it's the opposite. It's, okay, I don't think you quite understand the principle of non-contradiction or, <laughs> or, action theory or um, what makes one action virtuous and another one not. So I live at that une I live in that uneasy no man's land, if you like, where I'm thinking a lot about economics, but also a lot about the questions of the good. And that's a very exciting place to be because I think that's where the action is, particularly in the context of the modern world but also because we have people on both sides of that debate going wrong a lot of the time. So you have economists saying things that you think, well, that's interesting, but completely inhumane. <laughs> and then you have a lot of ethicists who will say things and you'll say, you'll think, okay, well, that's an interesting theory, but there's no way you would ever be able to realize that, that goal, because that would mean denying things like the indispensability of free prices or, the indispensable role that money plays in transmitting information throughout society. So those are the sorts of things that I'm constantly wrestling with.